Okay, first things first, we have to check the height calibration on the Z-axis with a little piece of receipt paper there. Precision is key. Come on, 3D. Give up the attitude. Get you a little bit closer. Your host, the bed and the extruder are up to temperature. Now I'm actually going to be using two different print files. I am able to split these separate objects away from each other instead of all three being on one print file. And I just deleted that bow tie to add a different one. how long it's going to take and print Now the first layer or two, I have it set to feed an additional 5% of filament through the extruder as well as to travel half speed and that just gets the material to squish down onto the bed easier. Now it doesn't really look like it, but I slowed down the travel speed to about 80% normal. And also I cooled the extruder down. Um, I think I cooled it down 30 degrees. And that just made it more deliberate in the lines that it was printing.
And we're just putting some black paint on the pedestal. plastic exposed so when I go to glue the pieces together it actually melts the two pieces of plastic together otherwise I would just have two layers of paint as the bonding surfaces I forgot to burn the strings away. putting some brilliant gold pearlex into the yellow paint. Stupid fat it. It ruins it. I didn't ruin it. I put it in there so it, the it, the yellow was brighter. <coughs> Just wait, you'll see.
Now I'm just flooding paint on the middle of the bow tie. And the old trusty aluminum foil tape. To get some of these pieces of tape to fit just right so the seam lines look good on the final product, that was kind of a pain in the neck. Uh, 
as you've probably seen there, there's a couple of pieces where I've tried multiple times to trim it right and get it right. I was starting to get really frustrated with myself after a little while of that. And yes, I sat there for quite a while holding it like that. Looking good. doesn't look quite right. I'm gonna do one more thing with it. Forgot to put some gloves on. area, just that yellow area, with epoxy. Check it with a flashlight. Hit it with some fire. That just gets the bubbles out. Tripling a little bit more in there because I want it to curve out slightly. That's it for this project. Thanks for hanging out in the last 20 minutes.